Hi folks, welcome to your latest planning outlook updated on Tuesday the 22nd of September. Today does mark the equinox and we turn the page properly into autumn and the weather is uh, following suit as well with some distinctly chilly conditions on the way over the next few days. Many of the higher mountains staying near to freezing point for several days right through the weekend. Quite a mixture of weather conditions. Some places will get away with frequently dry conditions, plenty of sunshine and some excellent visibility. But there's also some low pressure areas on the scene to produce some wind and rain at times. Let's see where we're going then and Wednesday's chart first of all. A cold front that uh, is tracking southeastwards, uh, more or less clearing through, but a bit of a ripple on this front just may produce one or two complications somewhere across England and Wales. Not easily picked up on the forecast models. They're still even at 24 hours away, a bit of discrepancy between them, but they're sort of coming together with the idea that most of that front has been and gone early in the day on Wednesday. But just be on the watch out for a few showers still left around across Wales and Pennine areas. Across Scotland, one or two isolated showers, but many places getting away with a dry day and cloud breaks to many higher tops and light winds as the pressure is a pretty slack pattern. The next low is, however, making its way in from the west later on in the day. By the time we get to Thursday, that low has developed and wound itself up across England and Wales in particular. It may just extend its rain also into the south of Scotland uh, through the course of Thursday to turn pretty persistent across the southern uplands, some heavy falls perhaps around the Cheviots. Some heavy showers pretty frequently across England and Wales, some dry periods in between. But for the Welsh mountains, I suspect with that southwesterly flow wrapped around the low, that uh, idea of heavy bursts of rain pretty frequently has got to be the order of the day and some strong and gusty winds too on that southwesterly. Further north, it's likely to be an easterly wind that affects the far north of England and the south of Scotland. But for much of the highlands, again, you're under a slack pressure regime and the wind typically very light. One or two showers around coming in from the east or the northeast, but across much of west and northern Scotland, mostly a dry day once again a chilly one with those temperatures staying around freezing point on the higher Munros and touch of frost in many of the glens first thing. Now our low begins to exit stage right as we head to the end of the week and that drags in a more direct north to northwesterly wind a stronger wind by the stage as well could be up to gale force at times in places on Friday so that wind chill factor will be significant by this stage. Some showers will come down from the north now those with some hail and some snow increasingly down to say seven eight hundred meters across the north of the highlands they'll be frequent at times in the northwest highlands maybe getting down into the Cairngorms too for a few belts of showers here fewer showers the further south you go across the highlands and few if any down the spine of the Pennines the lakes and the Peak District but some showers will come in to north and west Wales on that northwesterly flow from the Irish Sea could be locally frequent again with some hail and maybe some snow on the very highest tops around Snowdon through the day on Friday. Away from the showers, plenty of sunshine around, the air very clear coming down from the north, but just that distinctly chilly feel. We stay within a cold air mass as we go into Saturday. Pressure begins to build a bit to the north. We've got a bit of a tangle going on out to the west and the southwest and uncertainty just what happens to this little feature through Saturday. Most likely it's a good day across uh, the British Isles with some excellent visibility within that clear air that's come down from the north. Plenty of sunshine should be around, some well broken cloud, most of the summits in the clear and just very isolated showers. Most places should be dry throughout. The wind dropping light. So all in all, despite some varied weather systems around, it does look cautiously optimistic for a very good day on Saturday at this stage. And even Sunday, you must say at the moment, sees the idea of that high pressure just hanging on. We're still a bit in between weather systems. It's not a big block of a high that's right over the top, but we're just holding off the next weather fronts which lie out toward the west. Some indications start to bring those in as we get towards later stages of the weekend. So we're watching how quickly things start to move in. But many indications starting to come around to the view that higher pressure is going to hang on through the weekend. Temperatures then staying on the cool side, frost overnight could be a notable frost with the clear skies down several degrees below freezing, particularly in the highlands. Temperatures by day reasonable, but still on those higher tops likely to stay near freezing point. The wind mostly light, maybe just strengthening and turning southwesterly as time goes on. 
Do stay up to date with the forecast though because we're four or five days away naturally at this stage and there's some complications before we get to the weekend but I just hold on to that idea of being pretty optimistic at this stage. It's likely though that beyond that the westerly wind will start to return. Low pressure most likely well to the north of Scotland, more around Iceland. Uh, bits of front starting to come back in off the Atlantic then as we go into the early part of next week. It doesn't look particularly unsettled, but I would suggest the idea nevertheless of some rain at times coming back in mostly to western mountains, perhaps mostly focused on western Scotland, but some showers at times elsewhere as well and maybe just deteriorating a bit further as we head towards the middle of the week. We'll keep an eye on just how unsettled that becomes. For what it's worth, just a quick glance to the start of October off at the longer range forecast models. This is a seven day average of pressure and suggesting that lower than average pressure is nearer to us, but quite a blockage of higher pressure suggested to be building around Scandinavia and the west of Russia, which might start to slow things down somewhat. It could mean that it slows things down to become rather cyclonic and unsettled across the British Isles, but maybe just the hint of dragging the airflow back around from the south, and that would bring some warmer conditions, and it wouldn't be surprising at all. Once we do, at this time of year, get into these sort of north-south patterns, if we do get, as we will see this weekend, that chilly northerly type having been in place, give it a week or 10 days and quite often you swap it around the other side of the coin and you can get some warmth come back so some Indian summer like conditions could give us some warmth a bit further back down the line. In the short term though it's chilly conditions that dominate and you want to think about your winter layers in the days ahead. Thanks for watching this video today, bye for now.